Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have actually a video I've been saving up for for a year now, just, just over a year at this point. So these are going to be all my empty perfume bottles and samples and travel sprays for the entire year, starting from July of 2022 till, let's just say I'm filming this in mid-September, so it's just a little over a year. But before I go any further, I'm gonna share with you guys what I have all over my nails. Some of them have like some glitter on them. I have Hollow Taco, some of their newest releases. I have two separate polishes. I have a creme in the color Brick Wall and Fallen Flake Taco is the topper that I have on some of the nails. And I love this, you guys know how much I love Hollow Taco. And probably by the time Time this video goes up um they're gonna have a launch on saturday september was it ninth september 9th and it's gonna be with um sophia nygaard and they're like besties on youtube i'm so excited you guys i am like all over that <laughs> it's limited edition i am definitely gonna be snagging that polish kit so anyway love this polish all right so let's go through the perfumes now keeping in mind i probably would have gone through a lot more had I not had these packed away. So what happened was my husband and I moved from Halifax, Nova Scotia in early July, or sorry, mid July, 2022. And we did a big road trip. So a lot of the travel sprays here, I did bring on the road trip and utilize. And then we moved back into our home here on the West Coast on Vancouver Island, at the beginning of August. Now with that being said, I couldn't open up any of my other perfumes. I literally had to use a lot of the perfumes I had brought on my travels because we were packing up that house have massive renovations um, undergo in our home uh, starting in early September and that put us through to December and just before Christmas I was able to pull out my boxes of different perfumes and start using like the wintry uh, fall winter kind of scents. So anyway a lot of these are very summery. <laughs> so let's just start it with let's say the Elizabeth Arden. I actually only just recently finished this. I just had to use this as a perfume on my tray in my home where I would just have this if I'm working from home that day or if I was just on a weekend or day off I would have this out and every time I go by the bedroom I would spray this on me because I love this scent it is the original Elizabeth Arden's green tea the scent is beautiful it's just a very fresh very light green tea slight floral scent but I love it and I'm not a big floral person this is, um, I think it's actually, yeah, it's called, like it's a vaporizer or scent spray. So it's actually even lighter than Eau de Toilette. I actually got this big bottle as well as a small thing of hand cream at Winners like two years ago, I think. I was still in Nova Scotia and it was like $20. So I bought it because I do love this. But um, yeah, I love this one. It's super fresh. You can get it very, very on the cheap. Um, don't pay full price. Don't go into Shoppers Drug Mart. Even if they have a sale, it's not worth using your points. You can find it at Winners a lot or on the gray market. I love this one. And on that note, I also went through another Elizabeth Arden. Now this is a flanker. So what they do is they use, this is the base, right? This is the original, the OG. And every year they do like a, like a flanker of some kind. And this particular, I want to say it was 2021, green tea and pear blossom. So it's green tea, but then they added pear blossom to this one here. I enjoyed it. Is limited editions are always smaller. I don't think you can purchase larger ones. They no longer, or maybe they do, maybe on the gray market, you might be able to find this. It's not my favorite. If I were to choose between the two, the green tea is still my absolute favorite. And I would stick with that. And then the little cute packaging is little flowers and it's very cute. I liked it. I did the same thing as I did with this original. I sprayed this around when I was at home on my travels uh, and also when I had my stuff packed away. I had only a few essential fragrances out. So I used the heck out of this. So that's why this is an empty. And let's go into something that's actually not an empty. It's the only one that's not an empty, but because it's a natural perfume, like there's no additives and it's made in actually Alberta, Canada. This is from the company Lavender Clouds and Poetry. I've talked about them. I'll try to remember to link the video above here. This is what this juice looks like. And this one is in soft core. Now, the problem with this one is I, I could see there was stuff in here. Like it was con not congealing, but like some of the natural products that they use in their perfumes, which are absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I love them. They were just sort of changing. And so I was like, I'm not going to put that on my body. I can see something's going on there. So that is actually now like the only one I have here to share with you that I never finished. Great company. Again, it's a Canadian company. I have done a video on this company before. Really enjoy them. Now let's go on to another freshie. Now you're seeing a lot of a theme here. So freshies, I feel like I can wear sprayed on myself. We leave it out to use 
any time. They tend not to last very long on me, which is why I leave the freshy type versions of perfumes out for me to spray at home whenever I'm at home and just, you know, spray as I walk by and that kind of thing. So this is actually Versace's Versense EDP. I picked this up at Chopper's Drug Mart back when it was $19.99. I think they've increased the prices pretty much to $21.99. Basically at Chopper's Drug Mart in Canada, you can find at the, at like an end cap, unisex men's and female fragrances they will have for $21.99. Sometimes you can great, get a great deal. I really particularly love this one. It was a 30 mil, it's a smaller bottle, but I loved it. I would absolutely, if I found it for $21.99, and again, I would absolutely pick this one up again. Just a really nice, freshy. It doesn't last super long on me. None of these two that I actually went through, also they don't last that long either. But Versace Versense was a beautiful fragrance just to wear around the house. And in the summer months when I was wearing a lot of perfume, um, I really enjoyed this one. So that's this one here. Um, this one here I picked up at a Sephora VIB sales event, probably the fall, I wanna say. Or is it spring? I might have been the April one and I know I used it all up. So this is completely empty. I did use it up. This is from the Seven Virtues, the Coconut Sun. I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to like go out and buy a full bottle. I, it didn't last at all. It's a great scent. So this is just meant to be like a coconutty spray, very summery, very beachy. I love that it's a travel spray. I know Seven Virtues, as they started off with Rollerball, I have one in my possession in my collection in the Vanilla Woods. That's in a Rollerball that pains me because I'm like, I hate Rollerballs, but I love that scent. But this one just didn't last very long for me. So I actually wore this to work. I sprayed it on my body before I went to work each morning in the summer until it was, was done. And I think I maybe spent two weeks wearing this and it was gone. So again, it wasn't the most long lasting of all the fragrances, but it was pretty, but I won't buy any more of that um, because it just, it didn't last at all. I have some samples that I dug out from my friend Emmy that when I was living in Halifax, Nova Scotia, she sent me over some amazing fragrances to try. And she sent out Strivin, Nina Trevina Vicanto. This was lovely. It was a beautiful fragrance. I did wear that a lot in, I think it was like summer slash spring. This one I can't read anymore. It, uh, it is completely rubbed off. So it's been a long time. And this one here is, again, pardon me for my pronunciation, but the La Danta Nobile 1942. I actually ended up purchasing the full a bottle of this fragrance because it is the best. <laughs> like very festive like here in Canada our fall or sorry our Thanksgiving is in mid or early October. So for me that's apples, it's apple pie and that's what this smells like. All the cinnamon, all the guts of the apple, apple pie. It's just gorgeous. And I was able to put myself on a notification on fragrancebuy.ca. So when it was in stock, I was able to pick up a tester that did have a lid because some testers don't have a lid. I've specifically waited for one with a lid. So anyway, I love this one very, very much. And I have featured it on my channel many times. With that being said, you guys, these are great little samples. And I thank Emmy so much for letting me try all of these beauties. Then we have a fragrance that my friend Kara gave me because she knew I love these types of scents. So where I felt like this fell flat because it didn't last very long, this one here being from the Seven Virtues. This one here is Juliet Has a Gun and this is in the Vanilla Vibes. I would absolutely pot. I would probably buy, I would debate over a travel spray again. Again, I love the fact that it's a spray or a smaller size, like a 30 mil if I could. I don't remember what sizes they come in. This is great. It's got a more of a salty note to it. So although it's very similar to the Seven Virtues, the coconut, the beachy sunscreen kind of thing, this was really great for me. It lasted longer. That salty note like was just awesome. I really enjoyed it. So I would absolutely purchase this again. And I wanna say thank you again to Kara for get, basically gifting me this because she didn't really enjoy it. Didn't uh, her body chemistry, it didn't mesh up. So she was so gracious to give me this. It was pretty much full. So I appreciate it. I wore this to work in the summertime. So this was awesome. Okay, and then the last grouping, as you can see, we have, we have a lot of Comptoir Pacific. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, and there's a bit of a story behind this. So we have a sample here and we'll go through all of them. But um, this is what I packed with me on our road trip. These were small enough that I knew that once I got home, I could, I could just use these up as well throughout the time that we were 
in August and are home, but then packed up again in September, that kind of thing. These bad boys were awesome. They were great travel companions when it came to fragrances, especially these sprays. I love them. But we'll start with the little sample that I have here. And this is in Vanilla Extreme and all Comptoir Pacific are vanilla based. And they're like the most creamy, sweet, vanilla like you have to love that sweet vanilla scent and as i will explain later with these ones these are mixed with the vanilla extreme or like vanilla base or vanille vanille base this one here it was just a dabber so i did use this up uh again on my road trip it took me a little bit longer dabber's not my favorite but hey i still used it up and right here it just has on the card it says a top notes are sugar vanilla and heliotrope Mid notes are vanilla's absolute and milk and base notes are vanilla absolute and milk. And this is just a creamy, yummy, sweet vanilla. And I highly enjoyed that one. I would consider buying a full bottle of this one. And then let's talk about these four. So there is vanilla blackberry. There is vanilla apricot. Then we have vanilla banana. And the last one is vanilla cocoa. I'll try to remember to link the video I did specifically on this brand. I did a breakdown of the, these as well. I have purchased um, some in full bottles, but I also have full bottles of other fragrances from this brand. These ones were a savior, like I say, on my road trip. Now, my least favorite would be vanilla blackberry. This one did, was hardly any of that vanilla, that sweet vanilla that it, it basically runs standard on all of the vanille and then whatever, banana, apricot, all that stuff. It didn't last very long and I just, it, I, I wanted more of that vanilla. But the blackberry was very disappointing. It was not, the blackberry just wasn't a standout. It pretty much just got lost. I, I felt it was very watered down. And I believe it's probably one of the least favorite of this brand. I believe just watching what other people say, I'm not alone there. Um, let me see. We got vanilla cocoa, which is like their like basic uh, vanilla perfume. This is beautiful. It lasts a long time. That vanilla, again, if you're a gourmand lover, you will love these scents that have that vanilla base. So this is vanilla cocoa. So a little summery, beautiful. Love this one. And then let me see here. Oh, this is not one of my favorite vanilla banana. Banan. I know a lot of people who love this. I love banana fragrances, but I just didn't like this one. I love the vanilla, like the notes of the vanilla that they use. I think they use like Tahitian vanilla, that kind of thing. Sometimes Madagascar vanilla. I love those too, but I didn't enjoy this banana. I think it was just because the banana in this or banana in this one here was very, very inauthentic. So I didn't enjoy this one as much. And then we have my favorite, which I have a full bottle and it's the one that I have the biggest dent in and that's vanilla apricot. Now, I love this one. It lasts a long time on me, which is saying something because as I've said before in numerous videos in the past, my body eats up fragrances very, very quickly. I run a fairly higher, temp like a higher temperature than most. I love this one so, so much. There's a vanilla iconic I want to get as well in a full bottle. Um, I would love for them to do a vanilla mango. I would love that. I think that would be a great, um, addition to their collection like what they have but i love this brand I, I can't speak highly enough of the brand in general of course there's a couple duds but that can be said about so many other brands that have many different perfumes out there but vanilla apricot is one of my favorites so you guys that was these were all my empty empties for the year now that said i have about who i'm thinking about doing another one of these in the next six months because i have some massive dents in some other fragrances that wouldn't make it into this video but i think after christmas the holiday season i should have another video with almost as many perfumes but mostly full bottles versus the travel size so if you like these types of videos don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, definitely comment down below have you tried any of these and if you have what are your favorites and what do i need to try that are very similar to these especially the ones that i mentioned i love so much if you have a blackberry fragrance that you know is very good and lasts a long time let me know I'm on the hunt for a beautiful blackberry fragrance that's not floral leaning um, because I just find blackberry just doesn't last very long and it almost always goes floral. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.